Hello, boys and girls. Today we'll be talking about place value. And as you notice on my board, I have the place value chart. So let's go ahead and go over the place value chart. We have the ones, the tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. Place value. Place. The location of the digit. Value. How much the digit is worth. Let's go ahead and look at some examples. So we're going to go ahead and do the first one. 3,456. How can I place this on the place value chart? 3,456. The three goes in the thousands place, four hundreds place, the five goes in the tens place, and the six goes to the ones place. Another easier way is to look at the comma. Always know that the comma belongs between the thousands and the hundreds place. So if you have a 3,456, you always notice the comma and see how many numbers are after the comma and how many numbers are before. Let's go ahead and do the second example. So my second example is 103,456. So remember we did the last example was 3,456. Here we added 103,000. So that means my zero goes to the ten thousands place and my one goes to the hundred thousands place. The number seven in 3,678 is in the blank place. What place do you think the number seven belongs to? Remember to look at the comma to help you guide how you will place your numbers. The number seven is in the tens place because if we go ahead and put our numbers in the place value chart, seven belongs to the tens place. Place value. Why is place value so important in math? Let's look at a scenario. I ordered 24 cupcakes. Why did they send me 204 cupcakes? And look at them, they're laughing. That's a lot of cupcakes. When Mrs. Munir called the bakery, she found out that the person who took her order wrote down the wrong number. Mrs. Munir requested for 24 cupcakes. The girl on the phone wrote down 204. So place value is really important because you can mess up orders when you're shopping or while you're dealing with money. So this is a very important skill to know. Let's go ahead and do more examples and look at some of the vocabulary. Place value. There are four ways to write a number. Standard form, word form, expanded form, expanded notation. And we'll go ahead and look at each example. Let's look at the first one, which is standard form. This way is to write numbers using only digits. What are digits? Digits are numbers from zero to nine. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So when you see here, we have 27, it's written as 27. We have another example, 605, written as 605. 3,261, it's written as 3,261. 
So standard form is all about the digits. The next one, word form. This way is to write numbers using words only. So let's go ahead and do the same example. So 27 will be written as 27. 605. 605. And over here it says skip any digits that are zeros. So if there's no number in the tens place, we look at 600, we look at 5, and we write down 605. 3,261. 3,261. Again, this is written as word form. The next example is expanded form. We will write the value of each digit, then add them together to find the sum. How do we do that? Let's take a look. So we have here the same number, 27. In expanded form, it's written as 20, because this is the tens, so 20. And then the seven is the one, so it's just seven. Together it says 27. Over here, this is 600, so you'll write out 600. There's nothing in the tens place, so we will skip it. And then five is ones place, so we just write five. So it's 605. Over here, 3,200. 61. 3,000, the three is in the thousands place, so write out the thousands. Two is in the hundreds place, 200. Six is in the tens place, so it's 60. And then the one is in the ones place, so you just write one. 3,261. The next example is expanded notation. We will write the value of each digit by multiplying with the matching place values and finding the sum. So you're doing basically what we did with expanded form, but you will just write it in a multiplication format. So instead of writing 20, we will write 2 times 10 plus 7 times 1 which equals 27. Over here, instead of writing 600, you're gonna write six times 100 plus five times one, which will equal 605. Over here, instead of 3,000, you will write three times 1,000 plus two times 100 plus six times 10 plus one times one. Place value. Write the number 32,165 in standard form. Remember, standard form means only writing in digits. So sh just show me the numbers. And it should look like this. 32,165. The three is in the ten thousands place. The two is in the thousands place. There's a comma. The one is in the hundreds place. The six is in the tens place. The five is in the ones place. Let's do a couple more. Write the number 246,785 in expanded form. So it will look like this. 200,000 plus 40,000 plus 6,000 plus 700 plus 80 
plus 5. And when you add all of this together, you would get 246,785. And all I did was I first plugged in my numbers. So the 2 is in the hundred thousands. So I wrote down 200 thousands. The 4 is in the ten thousands. So I wrote down 40,000. The 6 is in the thousands place. I wrote down 6,000. The 7 is in the hundreds place. I wrote down 700. The 8 is in the tens place. I wrote down 80. And lastly, the 5 is in the ones place. So I wrote down a 5. Let's do another one. The number is written in expanded form. What is the number? So make sure you have to look at, oh, 3 times 100,000. Where should that 3 go? Maybe you should go in the 100,000th place. We have 7 times 1,000. So that means there's nothing in the 10,000s, so we will skip it. And you should write a 0. The 7 should be here in the 1,000s place. We have 6 times 100, so the 6 should be here. We have 5 times 10. The 5 should be here. And lastly, we have 4 times 1. The 4 should be here. Let's see how that looks like. Let me put it all together. So the number is 307,654. And then you just rewrite it here. 307,654. Let's go ahead and do these examples. We have the number 2,456. I'll do the first one for you and see if you can figure out the three of them. The two is in the thousands place. We're looking at this two over here. It's in the thousands place. So its value is 2,000. Can you figure out the four, the five, and the six place? And also its value. The answers will be on the next slide. Make sure to pause the video. All right, here are the answers. The four is in the hundreds place. Its value is 400. The five is in the tens place. Its value is 50. The six is in the ones place. Its value is 6. Now let's go ahead and look at all of the examples. So we have standard form, word form, expanded form, expanded notation. So we use the same number, 6473, and we wrote it in standard form, which is 6473. We wrote it in word form, which is right here, 6,473. We have it in expanded form, 6,000 plus 400 plus 70 plus 3. And we have it in expanded notation, 6 times 1,000 plus 4 times 100 plus 7 times 10 plus three times one. Now let's go ahead and do an activity in your journals. So the first activity I have here is different ways to write a number. So you will create a number up to four digits and you will write it in the four different forms. And make sure to pause the video and check back on it for any notes that you might need. Let's go ahead and look at the vocabulary words for this week. Number one, place value. 
the value of each digit in a number based on location of digit. Number two, digit. The symbols 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Number three, compose. Putting a number together. Number four, decompose. Breaking numbers down into smaller parts. Number five, standard form. A way to write numbers using only digits. Number six, word form. A way to write numbers using only words. Number seven, expanded form. Also expanded notation. Write the number showing the value of each digit. This is the anchor chart for the week. We have the number 1,423. The place value tells the value of a digit in a number. The value of 1 is 1,000. This is what it looks like. The value of 4 is 400. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400. The value of 2 is 20. 10, 20. The value of 3 is 3. 1, 2, 3. You also this week will do another math journal activity in which you will answer the following questions. There's two questions on this page and then two questions on this page. And that is all for today. I hope you understood some examples of place value and continue to do some more at home. Thank you. Have a great day.